Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have a full face of MAC products video. Uh, you guys know that lately I've been doing more one brand tutorials and I did receive a few requests to do MAC cosmetics. And to be honest, like I kept putting it off because I'm kind of like drawing myself away from MAC. I don't know why. I feel like I've just discovered new brands and new products that are just more worth it. And the only thing that I would probably really really like is the MAC Face and Body Foundation and their Mineralized Skin Finish Powders. They're really good. But apart from that, I mean I don't see myself using, I can like definitely find products from other brands. But anyways, that's the main reason why I kept putting it off and the main reason why you don't really see much MAC products on my in my videos lately. But yeah, that's why I've been kind of putting it off lately, just to let you guys know. Um, it's not because they're not cruelty free, it's just that, I'm, I don't know, I'm just drawing myself away from MAC. Like, there's nothing special. However, there is a lipstick from MAC that I really want to try out. It's called A Girl's Got Needs, and it's in the Nicki Minaj collection. And it looks like my perfect nude, so I wanted to try that, but literally I can't find it anywhere. Demonyms has Fraser, look fantastic, they all have it out of stock. Obviously, it's a really nice colour. If I sound really rough, it's because I literally got sick overnight, and I just feel really terrible. I can tell this sickness is going to be here for a while. But I still wanted to get a video up for you guys. And also, I just wanted to let you know that this will be the final week where I'll have five videos a week. I know I've been doing it all summer, I've literally constantly had 5 videos a week but now obviously I start uni so I'll be going down back to 2 so next week there won't be a video every day, there will be just 2 videos so I wanted to ask you quickly like what days would you prefer me to upload so if you were to choose 2 days that I could upload let me know in the comments below it would really help me out so yeah let me know in the comments below and we'll jump straight to it so the first thing I'm going to do is fill my brows in. I'm using the MAC Brow Pencil in Stud. Um, this brow pencil is really, really good, but I just wish there was like a spoonie on the other end because then I find myself reaching out for another one. I can't do my brows with a pencil without a spoonie, so yeah, I just wish there was a spoonie on the other side, but it's still a good brow pencil. Then I'm just carving my brows out with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And I'm just using a really flat synthetic brush to do this. Now onto skin, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Oil Stick and just applying this all over my skin. And once you've done applying it, just massage it in and it's actually quite like tacky when you massage it in and I feel like products really stick to it. So this product's really nice. Um, and then I'm going to be colour correcting, I'm using the Conceal and Correct Duo in Pure Orange and Ochre and I'm using the Pure Orange side just to colour correct around my mouth area. With this product you literally need like the tiniest amount. Now onto foundation, I'm using MAC Face and Body in C6. This foundation is actually really really nice. Um, I'm just buffing it with a brush first and then I am going to just use a beauty blender just to kind of like soak up any excess product and just blend it really nicely, especially around my mouth area because I don't like swiping in that area because if you do that it's going to mix the foundation with the colour corrector so that's why I like to do more tapping motions around my mouth area but it really gives this natural flawless finish like it's not cakey foundation I'm using the same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42 that we used to carve the eyebrows with and I'm just highlighting my face with this um, and again I use my, uh, a flat synthetic brush to do this just to apply it on and then I blended it out with my damp beauty blender this concealer is really 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 like easy to work with it's much watery than my other concealers but it's still a good concealer but I don't really reach for it that much anymore which is weird so now my favorite face powder actually is the MAC mineralized skin finish in medium tan and this powder gives a really nice glow but still sets your makeup and I just set my whole face including my under eyes and for bronzer I'm using the MAC Skin Finish Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep I just tied my hair back so it was out the way because it's a bit bothering me but yeah I'm just bronzing my face with that then onto blush I'm using a MAC blush in Desert Rose this is a MAC blush and I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and slightly bring it up towards the temple 
and now I'm highlighting my skin with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. As you can tell, I really like the Mineralized Skin Finish range. Like their powders are really, really good, especially if you have dry skin. Um, after highlighting my whole face, I set my whole face with the MAC Fix Plus. Um, now onto the eyes, I'm just using this eyeshadow called Kid. I'm not a huge fan of MAC eyeshadows. I feel like I'm really reading them now, but some products are good and some products I'm just not that crazy about and it's just the honest truth, guys. Um, but I'm just using like the skin tone taupey colour um, on my lids all over on top and bottom uh, lid. And then I went in with this matte eyeshadow called Mystery and I'm just really packing this on my lower lash line this is not really a neat look because I'm going in with a dark lip I just wanted it to be really natural in the eyes so I went really subtle and I'm just buffing this on my upper and lower lash line then I went in and curled my lashes and for mascara I think I'm using the Studio Sculpt Lash Mascara this mascara is actually quite good um, but I'm not a fan of it because it doesn't give much volume, it's just mostly length. So if you really like lengthy, like wispy lashes, then this is the one to go for because it definitely gives lengthy lashes. Now onto lips, um, I'm just applying my MAC Cork Lip Liner. This is one of my favourite lip liners of all time. The colour is just perfect and if you're like brown skin or tan skin or deeper, this lip liner is the best ever. And then I went in with this lipstick. This is actually my mum's, but I will write the shade in the info box. Um, it, because it's so shiny, I really like a matte lipstick, so I went in with that mystery matte eyeshadow that we used on the lash line, and I'm just I just set my lipstick with that. So that's the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, I promise I'm not really like this in videos, I sound really like groggy but I promise I'm more lively in videos if you are new to my channel. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!